Freshman year for me, I knew that um, I was coming in playing college baseball. I was a freshman. I kind of, you know, I obviously wanted to play. I didn't expect to play much. But um, freshman year was a big, I think, like a process year. So it was more like trusting the process, like doing what I can do. Um, I've always really focused on hitting, so I tried to get bigger and stronger. Um, I really put a lot of work in the weight room coming from, you know, high school where I worked out, but not as much compared to here. Um Obviously, there was a lot of spots open. We had a, we have a great class, as you see now. There's a lot of seniors who are playing. The, the lineup is basically all seniors, so you knew you were kind of competing with your classmates. And it was uh, got some transfers too, with obviously Murph and Fowler that year. But yeah, it was just a big process year for me. Um, just trusted the process, put in work every day at practice, put in work every day in the weight room, and tried to carve out a role for myself in the future. Sophomore year for me was really tough. I, I didn't think the injury was going to be that serious, but I ended up having to get surgery and missed my whole sophomore year. Um, and obviously that, you know, that year the team went to the World Series. It was a great team, so you knew there was a ton of talent on the roster. And, of course, I was happy for my team and happy for all the guys. But, um, you know, it made me think, like, what can I do to make myself better to end up uh, in the lineup and carving out a role for myself to be able to play. Um, so it was really tough like that summer going into my junior year after I had surgery and did all the rehab. I didn't do that well. So I was coming in the fall with, um, you know, not as much confidence, but I just kept working every day. And I, that was that summer I worked out probably the most and played baseball the most, but probably played 50 plus games that summer. So um, I just put in a ton of work and tried to carve out a role for myself my junior year. So coming into junior year, I I really focused on getting bigger and stronger and just really hitting mostly. Um, I kept up with all my rehab. Um, I knew that I was, you know, I'm a so-so outfielder. I play pretty clean defense. I'm not the fastest. I obviously don't have the best arm, especially after surgery. But I came in and told coach that, you know, I want my bat to stand out. I want to get bigger and stronger and be able to hit for power and really, you know, carve out my role specifically as a hitter to help the team. Um, so I just trusted the process. I hit a lot, like every day, you know, extra, a ton, especially with Kyle Budreas and Nick Herzog. We were always hitting constantly before and after practice uh, with Coach Kev Kelly. And, um, yeah, so I really just focused on my hitting after surgery specifically. Luke Nagel, you know, he was one of the grittiest players I played with. He did give me a lot of hope. I did talk to him a little bit. We both played football in uh, high school, obviously. We kind of came from similar backgrounds. Uh, he was a quarterback. I was a quarterback. Um, both played the same positions. So I, I would just talk to him, and I, I kind of realized through his play, you know, he's a hustler. He um, is a He's a grinder. He puts up gritty ABs. So, you know, he never had the best arm. He was never the fastest. He played the whole um, LEC tournament with a torn hamstring. So it was really came down to hitting. And once I realized that about – how a lot of it comes down to hitting. I really, really put a lot of work into hitting. I really wanted to focus on my craft as a hitter um, and, you know, keep working on my defense so I could play outfield and be able to manage that position. Yeah, honestly, um, I never thought I was going to see the field after I got surgery. I was kind of just hoping to come in and DH. But, uh, you know, you never know. And I was able to hold my own out there in the outfield. And I actually ended up becoming really comfortable as the games kind of went on and on. You know, I was I was comfortable at the plate that year. But defense, sometimes I wasn't as comfortable because I haven't been out there in about two years. Um, but, yeah, so basically it was more just being comfortable. I also had a lot of help from uh, Sal Fraschino and uh, Wanderson Pinalis in center field. Those guys were great fielders. But, yeah, you know, just putting in the work every day at practice um, with the coaches, working on things like your first step can uh, all helped me definitely in the outfield that year.